Well, welcome back to another Dino Days video. As you can see, we've got an EP3 Honda Civic Type R in the house, and today it's being tuned. It's already got a mappable ECU in it, so we are tasked with trying to make some power over and above what it's got right now, and he definitely wants some flames, so stay tuned for those. Here we go. Good morning, Richard. Good morning. There you go, a bit of light, look. Oh, a bit of light. It looks a bit dark there, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. So, uh, beautiful, glossy black, very polished EP3 Civic Type R. Um, and just crossed 100,000 miles. Wow, sir. It was got, I, I was looking at it, it's got 100,078 100, miles. So I would imagine his journey here today pushed him over 100,000. Lovely. 100, Lovely. Um, we've seen it before for a dyno run. I think we did, yeah. And we identified that it had some form of ecu because it had a usb port on it turns out it's a honda vert honda vert ecu yeah. yeah which we see all the time um so our mandate today was to tune it uh he'd put some modifications on it he fabricated an induction kit and fitted a bigger throttle body um, plus he didn't know what file was on there though there was obviously a map file on there he didn't know what I think file it, that yeah, was yeah i think he bought the ecu and he was running that ECU. Yeah, yeah um and yeah we've tuned it up yeah i mean i, I feel like 
it's not so as dramatic gains it would be obviously from a standard ECU to because it, it was already because it was already as a tuned yeah. ECU so there was already a file on there of description um but every vehicle needs tuning tune into that car um you know when people talk about generic maps and flashing and doing base files and all that sort of stuff it's almost you know base files can be done obviously with data logging but just basically putting an ECU in and running it, you are sort of hoping and praying that you're it, running the risk. Yeah, running the risk and hoping that it works out the same. So yeah, we have made some gains. Uh, not dramatic, really overly. If you if you if you want to be like that about it, but we've made some sort of power up from about five thousand onwards. Yeah. Um, Shoot accordingly. Got obviously the fuel incorrect. Got gone through cam angles and timing and everything else, and got it to its optimum level basically. Sounds great. He asked for some flames, and he certainly got some. Yeah, he did. Yeah, we've got some flames on there. Uh, got shift light. You know, now this car's got a sort of Tegu or Jap Speed 4 to 1 manifold plus a Tegu 70mm exhaust system. system. It's on an M an M2, M2 yeah. inlet manifold. Uh, he's talking about the Skunk 2 Ultra Series, which, uh, yep, yeah, great. Um, and he's got a fa like a fabricated induction kit. Yeah, like a 3 inch induction kit. I'd like to step that up to 3.5 if I was going for uh, a bigger inlet manifold. Well, he's got a bigger inlet manifold, but if I was going for the Skunk 2 Ultra Series, I'd certainly like to do that and push, mm. push more, for, uh, more for power. Uh, and as we did on my own car, we modified the collector um, to give a true, you know, by the three-inch collector onto the manifold and then going into Tegra 70 mil so it doesn't step down to two and a quarter there on both those parts. Did make a big difference on my own car personally there, didn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so maybe around another 10 brake in this car with the right mods. I think, I think so. you know, if you modify that collector, get a better induction kit on there, get a slightly better manifold on there. And I suppose to a lot of people, they'll think, well, that sounds like a lot of aggravation for 10 brake, but as anybody that's tuned it's in NA tuning, ain't it? or NA tuned in, that's how much work it is to make mm. 10 brake. So it sort of reached where it is now and it's just a question of whether someone wants to justify the extra cost Indeed. for that extra 10 brake. You've actually got a black EP3 going up for sale, haven't you? I have got week? a black EP3 going up for sale this week. Uh, it was one that uh, I bought and did some work on. Uh, that's got a baffled sump, that one, It has got a baffled sump on it. It's, got, it's just been completely... Uh, refresh the engine on that yeah, one. Yeah, if anybody's interested in an EP3 and they want something, uh, this one's been completely refreshed and it's... Yeah, it's had, it's had new everything. Uh, I'll be completely transparent. I bought the vehicle uh, with a knocking bottom end. Uh, we stripped it all down. We put a new crank in it. It's had all new bearings. It's been completely rebuilt. Uh, it's had new seals, had new gaskets, had everything. Uh, painted rock cover. It's got an induction kit on it, got an exhaust on it. Baffled uh, sump. Baffled sump on it. Which I think is important. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the reason for that was Uncle Keith was supposed to be having it originally. Yeah, yeah. Um, but just due to not being able to sell the Colt and a change of heart for it, it didn't. That's it. Never got done. So it so. is going up for sale. So, so if you are if you sale. are looking for one, uh, message the page or drop a, a a YouTube message below if you if you're interested in the spec. But it it will be going up for sale and probably be listed on Facebook and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it will be listed on the site for sure. Yeah, so we'll check, check it out. Check, check it out. If you want a uh, something to use as a track car, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's ready to go. It's, ready it, it, to it's totally go. ready to go. The only thing it could do with, if it was me, it was an ECU and a map. But I just, I, I, where I am with it now, is so I'm ready to get off it. Mm. I don't need to uh, sure. put any more money into it. So it's for the next owner to do that. So let us know if you're looking yep. for a car. But uh, let's go look at this graph. Let's, let's graph. do it. Okay, so say it with me, guys. Red line is as she came in. Blue line is as she leaves. There's power from pretty much crossover there all the way to the end of the graph. So that will transform it. He got what he wanted. Very, very nice. Finishing on 236, which is 193 at the wheels. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we'll see you on the next one, won't we, Rich? Code word, Richard's got one for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I say it again. Wait, it was pretty fast.